Hey, Brian and Sharon, it's Chris Igo. Good morning. I'm um, getting ready to uh, go preview the uh, the property and the canyons for you, but I figured I'd start the tour um, in my backyard and let you know that you always have a standing invitation to uh, come over and play. And um, the trampoline in the back is really good to uh, have the kids go bananas and, uh, and jump around. So we have a lot of fun. You're always invited. And uh, now I will give you a preview of, oops, of uh of the canyons so i'll start with a um some area attractions and then go into the uh the actual property itself and um away we go All right, I've slowed the video down to give you the uh, the outside. Actually, I'm gonna pull in, which is probably. Um, so this is. There's too much. Okay, so this is um, Sunset Homes Elementary School. too much right now because it's kind of creepy and uh, you can see there's a police presence outside but I wanted to give you um, just some some ideas of uh, how close or an idea of how close the school is and this is actually a, uh, a great school um, I know it gets a little bit sketchier uh, as you get to the, uh, the high school um, but this is a uh, this is a very good elementary school. So, um, if I thought I could get away with going inside and filming, I would, but uh, I know that I can't, so that's the best I can do for now. But um, I did want to give you uh, an idea of how close the school is. Now, I will tell you, um, the, the lines to get into school road basically shuts down it's uh it is not um it's not fun dropping the kids off but uh, a lot of people will uh, well either they get really they get there really early uh they have somebody else do it or um uh they ride their bikes and stuff like that so anyway just wanted to give you a uh, an idea of how close that is to uh canyon to any of the canyon neighborhoods. All right. All right, I am now at the uh, canyon uh, shopping center, and uh, this is five minutes from, uh, from any of the canyon neighborhoods, but I wanted you to get, to get a little bit of perspective um, of what's, uh, what's close to your house. So you've got a big uh, public shopping center, which is where we do our grocery shopping. Um, this complex basically has everything, a chiropractor, a, um, a walk-in clinic, which, um, Actually, is staffed with some pretty good doctors. There's a physical therapy center, a dry cleaner, a post office, uh, Panera Bread. There's an Italian restaurant. There's a um, there's a nursery school. There's a, uh, a beauty salon. Behind me, you're going to see there's an amphitheater. And on a, uh, a monthly basis, they'll do uh, some sort of activity. They'll do outdoor movies, concerts, um, all kinds of different stuff. And they do that about once a month. Behind that, you'll see soccer fields. So they've got um, they've got soccer leagues for kids um, and sporting leagues. I don't know if you can really get a sense of that, but it's really convenient because um, again, this is five minutes from any of the canyon neighborhoods, and really, there's everything you can possibly want. Let's see: there's a Bank of America, a Wells Fargo, a CVS, a uh, drugstore. And a yoga studio, Verizon Wireless, um, a title company, which uh, I don't use, <laughs> but they've, uh, they've literally got everything. So just to give you perspective, this is um, roughly five minutes from your house, and we do a lot of our shopping here. There are other shopping options, but this is one of the most convenient. And again, this is also uh, about five, less than five. So this shopping center is 
three minutes from Sunset Pond. So hopefully that gives you uh, a little bit of perspective and, um, and that's it. So we'll go check out the house now. All right, so uh, we are in the front uh, entrance of Canyon Isles, and uh, I got out and parked because I wanted you to see how nice it is. But additionally, I wanted to provide a little bit of commentary because um, there's a lot of running groups and biking groups that, uh, that will meet up and um, get their miles in off of Lions Road. And one of the cool things, one of the cool things I think, is um, you've got these, these uh, paths that are, in many cases, uh, tree-lined, which um, I don't know if you can get a sense of that right now, but you've got walking path or walk paths uh, or bike paths, whatever you want to call it. There's a bike lane, obviously, in the road, and that's where um, you get your miles in if you're if you're tri training. Um, but you've got winding walk paths that uh, that a lot of people use, and uh, you'll see a lot of families walking or kids riding their bikes, etc. It's uh, it's really scenic and nice. So I thought you might appreciate that. This is the um, the main entrance, the main gate, and they've got a 24-hour man. Uh, guard gate and they uh, they are fairly strict not fairly strict they are strict it's hard to get in <laughs> and a lot of times um, there will be long lines to get in but that's okay because if you live here you'll be a resident and you'll you'll go right through on the opposite side of the street you will see um, agriculture um, so you've got I believe that is owned by Bedner Farms I'm going to uh, I'll create some content at Bedner Farms, but Bedner is awesome. They've got, uh, and it's it's very close, so we get all of our uh, our vegetables from there. Um, and it's great. They have activities there every weekend. They've got um, petting zoos. They've got um, they do. There, there's an activity every weekend at Bedner's, which uh, which I think is great. It's actually owned by a friend of mine who I run with, Bruce Bedner, and um, it's been in the the family for years. So I think it's one of oldest um, local farms down here and a great family so so that's it let me, uh, let me flip this so you can get a, another sense of, of the main entrance and uh, then we'll go check out uh, the home and some other uh, attractions all right so this is important uh, this is the uh, the school bus pickup so you've got a, uh, a covered area for, for the kids. Uh, they can park their bikes uh, right here at the, um, at the pickup. There's uh, ample parking for parents to, uh, to pick up and drop off. And it's uh, obviously right at the community, which is, uh, which is convenient. So, um, so that's that, and uh, I'll have more for you here shortly. All right, so now I'm at the uh, the Delray Marketplace, and uh, this is essentially uh, a higher end version of what you've got over at the uh, the Canyons uh, Shopping Center. So you've got an amphitheater in the background, as you can see. You've got uh, <clears throat> and same thing. They have activities um, definitely once a month, but I, I believe it's actually probably more like once a week. They've got something here. They've got outdoor yoga classes. They've got outdoor concerts. Um, fairs, festivals, all kinds of stuff. They'll, they'll a lot of times do an outdoor movie night, which is where they'll put down a projection screen and the families will come out and uh, have picnic tape or picnics and, and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. 
Uh, you've got Burton Max over here, which is a um, higher end restaurant, nice bar, nice social scene. Um, there's a bunch of high end restaurants over here, which is a lot of uh, a lot of fun. You've got um, all kinds of uh, so there's a few gyms. There's a um, Orange Theory Fitness. Um, essentially, you, you've got everything you could want over here. Uh, there's a bowling alley, a movie theater. Um, we'll go through the directory here, uh, if you like. So, you've got a Publix, movie theater, AT&T, dentist, bank, hair studio, spa, sprint. I mean, I'm not going to read all of it. But uh, you, <laughs> you get the idea. Everything you could possibly want here. And it's uh, essentially, again, uh, uh, it's a newer shopping complex, um, but everything you can want is right here. And again, it's only a few minutes from uh, from where your prospective house would be if you buy the property in Canyon Isles. And, uh, and if not, that's okay, because we're gonna have content for all the other properties too. So away we go. I would be remiss if I did not include this store in, uh, in the highlights of, uh, of the Delray Square. It's called It's Sugar. Now, I don't know, um, you guys are like me but my preference is, is that my kids don't eat a whole lot of sugar so I do everything in my power to discourage um, them eating candy or sweets or anything like that um, nonetheless this place is like uh, the Willy Wonka chocolate factory um, on steroids it's got <laughs> it's got everything this place is so much fun so I figured I'd be I'd be remiss if I didn't at least just share it so I try to avoid bringing my kids here as much as possible, but invariably this place is like a magnet and they are heat seeking missiles <laughs> trying to find um, trying to find the ultimate piece of candy, which uh, is here. So again, um, they've got everything here and uh, and this place is pretty cool. So I will uh, continue and I'll see you here shortly over at the house. All right, well, I just realized that uh, most of that last, or not most of, all of that last video was uh, was done in time-lapse, so you couldn't hear anything that I was saying, but uh, but you got to see it really fast. So long story short, uh, Bedner Farms is uh, one of my, uh, my favorite places to go. They always have family activities on the weekends. Um, there's, there's literally uh, something here. Um, they've got petting zoos, they've got seasonal things, so uh, for, uh, Halloween, they'll have a, uh, a corn maze and all kinds of um, pumpkin patches and stuff like that. Um, let's see, there's cornhole in the background. They've got, they do guided tours. There are swamp buggies behind that petting zoo. They've got food trucks. They've got a huge pavilion that you can rent out. And uh, they'll do concerts out here. But it's, uh, it's a really, I think it's a really nice um, place to bring the family. So, um, so that's it. Just a, uh, a quick pop in. And, um, and again, we do all of our, uh, we try to get all of, we try to support them and get all of our, uh, our veggies and fruits out here. It's way cheaper than Publix. Um, and it's fresh. Most of the stuff is grown here. So that's it. Now we are off to, uh, to see the house. Look at the size of that iguana. All right, so we are out here at Loxahatchee State Park. And the reason for that is I wanted you to get, um, well, I just wanted to show it off first and foremost, but one of the cool things I like about this park is that they've got, um, see as we were driving in in the um, you might have noticed that there
there was a guy who was unloading his um, or offloading his bike from his truck and he's going to do some trail riding. There is uh, some really great uh, trail rides. All right, so now I'm out here at the uh, at the edge of the Everglades at Loxahatchee State Park, and um, I was hoping we'd be able to see some gators, but it doesn't look like that's going to uh, happen today. It's really high tide. Um, it's this is unusually high, uh, but I wanted to just point it out because uh, you've got airboat tours over here. You've got uh, canoe and kayak. Um, that you can do. There's all kinds of uh, activities at the park. As I mentioned before, there's uh, there's trails that that I utilize, and a lot of, I think a lot of people do. So I'll give you. I don't know if you can see behind me, but the trail that just goes straight out goes all the way up to West Palm. So you've got I forget exactly what the mileage is, but it's something like it's either 30 or 50 miles um, of uninterrupted um, trail. And if you see behind me. It might even be more than that. I got, I've got to uh, check the uh, the mileage. But when I was rehabbing my leg, I would just put on my uh, headphones and walk. And uh, that was the only thing I was uh, approved to do. But um, I think it's <laughs> I think it's fun. I can lock into, uh, I can zone out, get into nature, and, uh, and get my miles in. So I figured I'd share that with you. And now we are going to go check out the house. So we are driving into Canyon Isles for today's preview. And away we go. Hey Brian and Sharon, it's Chris Igo, and now we are finally at the house. All right, so I wanted to uh, give you a preview of the property. You've got a uh, you got a circular driveway, and um, as you probably already know, this is the exact same model as the uh, property that we we previewed in uh, Saturnia Isles. So you have seen this layout before. Um, it's done a little bit differently inside. And obviously the price point is uh, is a little bit different too. So they started at uh, 1.19, they're at 9.89 now. And um, let's go inside. Okay, same. Very, very similar. Uh, layout, 
one obvious difference is that instead of having the, uh, the space um, or the loft uh, above us, you've got the, uh, the light fixture and the grand uh, entrance. Similarly, you've got um, this room is, is not open like it was in the other property, but you've got a, uh, a huge majestic uh, room, which is big, open and bright. You've got a, uh, a working fireplace. And of course it opens up to a dramatic pool and lake view, which is, uh, which is really sweet. You know, the issue that you have in both communities is that it's uh, it's zero lot line. So you've got a, uh, a neighbor uh, right there. And then on the other side, it's uh, a little bit more, um, well, I can't say it's more open because you have the huge side yard on the other property, but you've got an amazing view. And, um, and that is really pretty. Let's go check out the uh, the rest of the property. So one of the features that uh, is different is that you've got accordion um, shutters, uh, hurricane protection on every um, on every door and every window, which uh, I don't believe you had in the other property. Obviously, it doesn't open to the kitchen. But the same, same layout, you've got a, uh, a formal dining room, which um, is a little bit different than the, uh, the property in Saturnia Isles. You do have the, um, the bar, or as they called it, uh, the butler's quarters, uh, huge pantry. space there <clears throat> and then an even bigger huh there is a oh there we go and then there was light um, so you've got a huge uh, pantry lots of shelving and then a little Little spot for a uh, a furry friend. All right, so maybe I can get control of this gimbal. Come back, gimbal. All right, so it's got a mind of its own. Very high end kitchen. Huge island. But super sweet kitchen. Uh, double oven, microwave, stainless steel, GE profile. Oh man, I'm losing you. Refrigerator. And an amazing view. So you're in the kitchen, you're doing your cooking or whatever you're doing, and you've got a great view of the pool and of the lake. which huh. mm -hmm. yeah. well I don't want to force it but uh, it would certainly be uh, a cleaner shot of the lake if that opened and uh, again I don't want to break anything so so I won't, um, all right. So downstairs you have the uh, utility room, washer dryer, uh, electronic hookup, alarm system, etc. Plenty of uh, ample space to uh, fold, wash and dry clothes, which is always fun. Then you've got a two-car garage on this side, 
One uh, very notable difference is the other gentleman smoked in the garage and he turned it into his man cave, but he smoked in there. And uh, I found it to be disgusting. I suspect you would probably find it to be disgusting too. There would have to be some sort of uh, paint or remediation done to the garage for me to feel comfortable letting my kids in there. Um, so that's one notable difference. All right, so now we are upstairs. The uh, same layout, all the bedrooms uh, are up. You've got a uh, very cool view of the main entrance when your guests arrive. You've got a great view of the lake and the pool. And that's really pretty. So let's see here. Where are we? I'm losing you. Ah, gimbal. All right. So you've got a you've got a bedroom over here. Jack and Jill bathroom. Same. Again, same layout as the other property. You've got a. Uh, I don't know if you can call this a family room or a game room sitting room um, but this is really a nice space which uh, of course opens up to a uh, a large balcony that has a great Ooh. okay open 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 I do not want to force that so you get the idea Right. And now we're going to go check out the, uh, the master bedroom. So again, you got a really big, beautiful, spacious bathroom. Huge closet space. Built ins. Really nice. Very high end. And this is his, as evidenced by the tie racks. And then the, uh, the master, and um, I guess you could call this the, uh, I don't know if you'd call this an office space, a sitting room, um, but it's got an amazing view of the, of the pool, of the backyard, of the, uh, of the lake, and um, well, that's awesome. So you've got the master, again, very big room, Great views of the lake. And away we go. Also, you've got a... Uh... So this is a security feature. Um, you've got a, a visual of the front door. So if someone knocks on the door, rings the doorbell, you can see who's there from upstairs, which is a nice safety feature. Another bedroom upstairs, big, big room. Lots of closet space along with a safe. Bathroom.
another big room. Bathroom. Closet. Looks like they've got all the closets with built-ins, which are nice. So, let's go downstairs. Ah. The gimbal's still a little bit tricky. Um, okay, so, the difference between this house and the property in Saturnia Isles, it's again, the same layout. So you've got a one car garage on this side that they're using for storage. You've got a, uh, another off. So this would be a, a formal office. Let's turn some lights on in here. So we've got a big room, that's glass doors. Another bedroom down, big closet space. And of course, the, uh, the money shot, which is the, uh, the pool and lake view. And you got a, a cabana bathroom with some nice high-end uh, finishes. And that's it. So next I will take you to the uh, the clubhouse so you can uh, you can check that out too. Put my sunglasses on. But again, this is um, this is the exact same property that we, uh, we previewed at Saturnia. Hopefully my uh, audio is a little bit better. And, um, and that's it. So any questions, concerns, comments, let me know. And um, I will have more uh, previews for you um, Wednesday. So today is what, Tuesday? Tomorrow I'm gonna knock out the rest of them. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So any more properties that pop up, let me know. I'll preview them for you. And I'm looking forward to, uh, to finding you your, uh, your dream home. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, so uh, I am now at the, uh, the Canyon Isles Clubhouse. So you can check out the amenities. We've got uh, tennis courts off in the background uh, over there. So let's see, we've got tennis courts, basketball court, You've got a uh, bathroom pavilion and then a, uh, a picnic area. You've got a, uh, an active playground, which is that. <laughs> this is, uh, it's nicer than what we have over in uh, Canyon Trails. I wish this was uh, what we had. <clears throat> now the notable difference being, and I think they probably had this, I don't know. Um, so you can see the uh, columns, which to me means this at one point was actually covered. Um, and I suspect the last uh, hurricane season it got blown off and wasn't replaced, but um, I know ours is in the process of being replaced, so I suspect theirs is probably too. Um, all right, so let's see what else you've got. You've got a, uh, a covered picnic area and then a, uh, a big open field you can play sports in. Um, I suspect that similar to uh, Canyon Trails, there's also organized uh, sports over here. So a lot of times you'll have activities, birthday parties. Um, I know uh, in Trails they have all kinds of, uh, there's yoga classes, um, soccer lessons, tennis lessons, um, on and on. So I suspect that they have the same thing here. And then this will open up to the pool which I don't have a key for, so probably won't be able to get in, but you'll get the, the general sense. This is the pool, which is uh, really nice. And this, 
Unfortunately, my uh, my key fob will not <laughs> will not work here, but that's okay. Maybe we'll get lucky and get inside. Um, I suspect they have a um, uh, a gym in here also. Um, so my my uh, clubhouse has indoor uh, basketball, so I'd be surprised if this doesn't. Uh, big meeting rooms. If you want to reserve that, hello. Um, what else? Uh, treadmills, uh, ellipticals, weights, etc. And not sure. Not sure if we'll be able to get in or not. But well, maybe. How's it going? Good. I'm gonna follow you. Thank you. <laughs> so we got lucky. We got to go in. All right. So just like trails, you've got to, So this is a um, a dance studio or aerobic studio, if you will. Um, am I getting this? So I suspect you've got classes. Um, I know they've got mommy and me classes and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, you've got the office, you've got bathrooms, you've got a uh, so a kid facility, playroom. Kid I love how I call it a kid facility. I've got two kids and that's the best I can come up with as, as it relates to uh, <laughs> as it relates to this. Uh, so you got a, uh, a really nice pool um, and then you can see places to eat and stuff like that, which is great. Uh, what's going on, my man? Well, I was going to ask you the same thing. <laughs> what, what am I doing? Yes. I'm shooting some content. I was uh, I just showed a property in here. I live in Canyon Trails. Okay. So I'm just uh, doing a preview for some clients that are out in Seattle. You want to say hi? <laughs> You've got the best security also. So well, they, to that to that oh, I don't have a card. I'll, I'll try not to break the door. Can you let me in? I would love to let you in, but if you don't have access to that, I can't let you in. Okay. So no access, but as you can see, you got a, a really nice um, meeting room. And uh, they, if this is anything like trails, then I suspect they probably have all kinds of activities that go on in there too. And all of those would be online. So what I don't see is a, um, I don't see an exercise room. I don't see a gym. So that is, uh, is unfortunate, but let's see here. Clubhouse Fitness Center. Where's the fitness center? Hmm. Office. Social hall. Aerobic studio. Oh, it's on the other side. Can I get through here, bud? Thank you. Aha. We got access. So over here, you've got the, uh, the fitness center. So I don't have... I don't have a card to get in, but you got... So you can see, you've got uh, Cybex, treadmills. I think you can see. Cybex, treadmills. Uh, you've got elliptical machines off to the corner, off to the side. You've got free weights. You've got, oh, you got somebody going to let me in, which is very nice. Thank you. I no appreciate it. All right. So yeah, you've got all, everything you could possibly want. So you've got, uh, you've got free weights. You've got, um, treadmills. You've got some personal training going on. And, uh, and that's cool. I knew there was no way there wasn't a gym in here. And then, of course, you've got, ooh, it's bright. The sun is finally out, yay. And then you've got this amazing uh, pool. So 
I suspect much like Canyon Trails, you've got uh, all kinds of social activities that go on here. Um, and that's one of the great features of living in the uh, canyons is you've got a lot of young families that um, there's a lot of kids, a lot of stuff to do. Thank you. And, um, and it's great. So any questions, let me know. Um, again, I'm going to preview the other properties for you uh, tomorrow. So we'll have a lot more content. Um, and we'll just continue to work our way down the list. So thank you for, uh, thank you for your uh, time. And um, I look forward to finding you your dream home. All right, let's talk soon. Bye. All right, so I, um, I slowed down the video to give you a, a perspective of how close uh, Somerset Academy is. Um, the elementary school is very close, and the well, the elementary school is closer, uh, but this is incredibly close also. And uh, you got a lot of kids who uh, walk and bike to school. Um, but I wanted to give you a sense of exactly where where the school is, so you uh, so you know. And then directly next to. Somerset Academy. You've got uh, Boynton Community Church, which um, is where we go to we go to church. But also, um, it's the uh, the King's Academy Preschool, which um, I have, I will pop in here because you'll be able to get a view of the side of the middle school, but also the um, the the King's Academy. Now, the great thing about the uh, the King's Academy is. Um, and I'll be kind of, <laughs> I'm not really all that religious, but um, it is far and away the best preschool um, I found around. I mean, the uh, it's an elite uh, preschool, and uh, King's Academy is a elite private school also, and it's a direct feeder school to that. So I, I don't know that we'll uh, I don't know what we're going to do in the future, but I like to have the option. Um, I could not say enough good things about um, the King's Academy so far. Um, so this gives you a perspective of the um, of the school. Uh, a lot of times when I pick up my kids um, from the King's Academy, I'll see the uh, football team out there uh, running practice, stuff like that, which is always cool. Um, and then they'll also be doing drills over here sometimes, which is... Uh, which is cool. And then behind it, uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but uh, behind those trees is um, is Bethesda West, which is a brand new hospital, state of the art. Um, and that's really close too. So God forbid you ever have to uh, visit the emergency room or anything like that. Uh, it is legitimately, you know, right up the street. So, um, so that's it. You've, uh, you've basically gone through a tour uh, of the the local area today, uh, we are really close to uh, the Turnpike Expressway, so um, that's a major hub that basically takes you everywhere. Um, I mean, we're from where we're at right now. You're about 20 minutes from the uh, from the beach, um, about a half hour from West Palm, about a half hour to uh, Fort Lauderdale, give or take. Um, the airport in West Palm is, is roughly a half hour away, uh, about 45 minutes to Fort Lauderdale Airport. Miami is a, a solid hour, hour and a half away, depending on traffic. And, um, and that's it. So uh, I will be in touch. Any questions, let me know. And uh, I'll look forward to uh, connecting with you soon.